know what? I just took a little break. And now that I'm back, I just had this thought come into me. And I'm actually very upset about it. I'm actually a little bit angry. For how much I drank yesterday, which I guess technically wasn't too much. Because like eight shots. And like, you know, some of them being 100 proof shots. I, I don't, I'm not feeling hungover, groggy. I don't feel sick. I, I don't even feel like I drank yesterday. I feel better than I have in a while. And even that last shot I took on stream where like, I, like I acted weird and I was like going to throw up or whatever. Once I got past the throw up part, it was just like I wasn't. It was like all the alcohol left my system completely almost is what it felt like. And it, it's just like, did I not drink enough? I was drinking a lot, but I guess next time I'm just going to have to go a little harder than that, I guess. I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just a little bit immune. I don't know what it is. It's just each time I drink. I don't know. It's always once a year. I got I got to wait a while before I can do anything again. And I just feel like that was kind of lackluster for like my once a year little party. So I don't know. I had a lot of fun though. I enjoyed it. I was loosened up. It felt good to move. I was talking. I was really sleepy though. That was part of it. But uh, I don't know. It's, I, I was kind of hoping to feel sick this time. And I was also kind of hoping to throw up, but my will is just too strong. I don't get it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe my will my will to just do certain things is just too strong because I was going to throw up and it, I battled it, right? But my I, I forced my body not to throw up. And after I did that and forced it not to be sick, it's like I got better. It's like my body just was like, okay, we're rejecting this completely. And I just, I, I just don't understand. I... Uh, a tr I got it immediately, immediately got the disease for vampirism, immediately. I've never really noticed the effects on the swords before like that, that's interesting. Oh, is it just be is it the Dragon Ren sword, is it just something, is it just because it's a special sword that I'm seeing the effect on it? That's interesting. Now, do I have a cure disease potion? If I did, it was stolen, so I might not have one. They're always at the top, though. Oh, cure disease. Cures all diseases. That should help me with my vampirism. We'll drop these robes. I can always get more of these cultist items later on if I want to, even though I think they're really cool looking for the most part. I've never really used them. I don't have a base of operations, so if it's really not that unique, I don't need it. These really aren't that unique. I could get better. I could get better. Okay. Oh, I must have not been over encumbered in the first place. That's kind of dumb. I think I just clicked the wrong thing. I might switch my headset to bass and see if that changes anything, because I feel like the audio still sounds a little bit weird with this. You deal with the other one, Lydia. You deal with that one. I'm trying to get just enough magic here to... Usually I can get those backpacks and uh, storage isn't a problem, but I don't have backpacks on this character and I don't feel like downloading the mod to get the freeway either. I could upgrade to Anniversary Edition and get all of them, so there, there's that. Maybe I'll do that. PlayStation has to pay $60 to get it the Anniversary Edition, but on Steam I can just do like $2, so it's fine. There's a dragon up that way. I don't really care about it. I just want to continue forward. I have a bunch of quests enabled, don't I? How do I have so many? Oh, just optionals. The optionals are in the way. That's annoying. Check the map. Make sure I'm going the right way. I am. 
All right, let's keep going. Show on the road. Come on, more wolves. And destroyed. Absolutely wrecked. It does feel weird to play Skyrim like this. Because I'm not playing it to really explore, collect, go in depth like I usually will. I'm just playing it to, to enjoy the main story of the game. I'm playing it like it's a quest-based game where you don't really collect gear or level up or anything. You know what I'm saying? And that's a very interesting way to play Skyrim. Because it's like... I'm kind of playing Skyrim, but I took the magic of Skyrim out of it is how I'm playing it. Which does sound like a horribly negative thing to say to do to take the magic out of a game. But in a way, I'm not really doing that. I just have a goal and that's what I was doing. But it definitely makes it feel like a different game doing it this way. And it's an interesting way of doing it. It's definitely... I feel like it's good because I've already played it in depth so many times that to one time just play it for free and not worry about managing anything is nice. It's a change of pace from how it used to be, or how it usually goes. Now I'm thinking about just running through this cave and ignoring most of the enemies in here. I don't feel like dealing with any of the nonsense, so let's just do that. I hate how all these dwarven caves have those weird little ninja blind falmer things i hate fighting those things they're just they're the most i i hate them so much and don't get me started on the dwarven creatures i like fighting the big giant centurion type guys that look like they're from the foundry the roly poly guys i don't like the spider ones aren't satisfying to kill but they're they're cool they're cool designs and stuff i just like fighting the big ones only I don't even feel like getting the axe from- there's like a special axe or something in here. Yeah, we're just gonna- we're zooming. We're just gonna zoom through this. I know I said I wouldn't just play a game all the way through without editing anything. But I've, in this case, it's like a special circumstance. This is kind of just like a party thing I'm kind of doing. I'm doing this for fun, in a way. And my commentary isn't failing for this because I, I just, I'm kind of just letting some thoughts out. Um, because I, I think it was just because I was sick for a while, so I was just like, you know what? It, it's not good to, do, or certain games, it's not good to do that. If Skyrim. I can do that in because I've played it so many times. I don't need to learn nothing. There's nothing to learn. If it's a game I'm learning, I should not play it for six hours straight right off the bat because my commentary is going to be horrible. Versus a game like this, I already know what's up. I don't even really, I can put zero energy. I don't even have to look at the screen as I fight and go through these. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to look at the screen right here. I can just turn and look and it'll be fine. It's almost like I'm not even playing it. That's how it feels. So, commentary is just going to be extraordinarily easy for a game like this. For me, anyways. And it's just kind of a hack and slash, and I'm invincible. I'm not really learning anything. I'm listening to a few of the conversations just to get some of the story in. But I know everything about this game, so... Sorry, Jizzard. Shouldn't have killed your buddy. If you had him, you, you might have stood a chance. Sorry, you said enough, but if I let you if I let you live, you just would have attacked me again, so. Could get that woodcutter's axe so I can go cut wood for gold, but I don't need it that bad. Roly poly back you guns. It's not even fighting me. It's not even choosing to fight back. Yo, you're getting curb stomped. Oh, he's fighting back. Easy. Easy. Any more want to come at me? You know what? I enjoyed fighting that thing. I still hate the Falmore, though. They're ugly and not even a cool or interesting thing to fight. And that's one of the things about Skyrim is the landscape's cool, but all the indoor things, 
it's either the same dwarven place like this, with either dwarven spiders or Falmor, or it's just zombies in a crypt. There's really no other indoor area that you explore out in the wilderness. Now you could say, well, Falmors do have their like little, like you know, they have like a kind of their own little custom cave you can find sometimes. But I mean, that's just more Falmor. It's really just Dwarven Falmors, or the zombies. Other than that, there's really not much of a variety. Now there is the Forsworn, but they're just bandits. They're just bandits, and ba I don't even want to count bandits towards any of that. Because there's really nothing in depth about Falmor bandits. Because then again, there's usually just Falmor or Dwarvens in those caves or places, anyways, mixed in, or it just looks the same as this place. There's just not there's not there's not too much variety, at all. There's just not. I feel like Oblivion probably has more variety. Like it's such a unique area. Skyrim's just cold and dark, wet, and everything's kind of the same. Versus, like, Oblivion is, like, this magical-looking place with all these weird, interesting things. You never know what you're going to run into. It's actually creepy. But I don't know. I never really played Oblivion too much, but I know enough about it that... I honestly... But I like the I like Skyrim. I like playing Skyrim better, so if that's any constellation. Okay. One-handed... Yes. Okay, sneak lock, picking, pickpocketing, speech. I want to go to restoration. Perfect. Alteration, enchanting, smithing, heavy armor. Whoops. One handed. What am I using? I'm using a sword currently. Dual wielding, dual wielding. I don't really care about any of the nonsense. I have to get him to level 50 to get to that point? Okay, that's fine. So where am I going? What am I doing? I'm getting the Elder Scroll. Yep, alright. Not gonna. It's gonna be a piece of cake doing that. Now, Carjo, my main question to you is, buddy, what are you doing over there? What are you waiting for? Are you listening for something? You just hanging out, buddy? You're a good boy, Carjo. If you need something, just let me know. I'll hook you up. We're not gonna get the, uh... Oh, I, I just... You know what? I feel like getting it. I was gonna... As soon as I said no, if I would've just ignored it, nor saying it out loud, I would've ignored it. I wanted to, but I wanted to say something about it, and if I'm gonna say something about it, I might as well go over to it. Isn't there a book right here where you can learn? I don't even want to lock the thing. Let's just keep going. Come here, you roly poly. Lydia, do you want to get hit? Can you go around me, be a little smarter about your choices than trying to go straight through me to fight this thing? Only if I could take that crossbow off his arm. It'd be cool if all crossbows did, like, a boost of damage against vampires. Like, they did 10% extra against them, just as a little modifier. Plus all the, uh, the armor one that you can get eventually. That'd be unique. That'd have been cool. It would have made sense to me. Or just wood-staked arrows that do, like, 50% more damage to vampires. Lydia might kill me right here. Oh, she didn't. Okay, thank you, Lydia. I understand, I understand, I understand! Unlock. 
I don't know how long it lasts. I was scared. You know what? It lasts a decent amount of time. I could have gone further. I just didn't want- I didn't have my game saved in a while. I don't know how far back it would take me, so let's make sure to save game real quick. Quick save. Oh, I didn't pop the shout. Crap, I didn't realize I was going to be fighting you guys right here. I think I fell far enough down to do what I got to do. I don't feel like fighting any of them. I think they're just stupid. They're the worst enemies in the game. I've stealthed this area so many times. I didn't even know you could jump those. So I don't know if they just turned off at the right time and I dodged it or actually jumped them. That might be the Underdark right there. Athlan Glacial Ruins. Oh, yep. This is up to Skyrim. Isn't it? Or is it? Is this somewhere else? Did I just go up or down? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't like where I just went. I'm confused. I don't like that I'm confused. Um, sounds like y Lydia's going to work. Okay, yep, we're zooming, we're zooming. We're gonna get that Elder Scroll in no time. Can't wait until we fight one of those guys. I always love fighting them. They always have such good rewards, too. You never know what you're gonna get. You might get Daedric arrows, a Daedric bow, you could just get a core. They always give good stuff. They give better stuff than what dragons give you when you kill them, which is kind of silly. But dragons are supposed to be somewhat of a common enemy, so it's not like... They're like, they're more of... I feel like the Centaurians are like a tier above dragon technically, even though they're not as more difficult. I usually go that over that way and... Make sure to loot every single thing I humanly can, but I don't care about looting everything anymore. Hold on. There's a bit here. There's a bit of stuff going on here. Let's use a bow for once, why not? It'll be fun. There we go. I fought plenty of you in the foundry, okay, buddy? I may have had, like, Gel, Clara, uh, Red Fiery Trick, and Dark Souls Chick, but, um... Or that happens, I guess. Alright, wow. I'm definitely just going to try using the bow on this guy. You know what, let's go use the sword. Let's quick save right here, so if he does cause any problems, we're good. 
Wham. 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 Bam. Bam. Pow. Yep, you're missing. You're missing. Let's get a little bit of stamina, a little bit of stamina. You messed up, partner. That's right. I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm the best. I'm the best there is. Try me. Try me. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Easy. Come on. Try me. Try me. Try me. That's right. Crushed. Crushed. And the fact I've only ever really killed you with arrows in the past was just silly. Remember when I first played this game, I didn't understand, like, um, like, just sticking with a certain class of, like, stuff, like heavy armor or something like that. And I just put on and use whatever I thought looked coolest. And I, it, I just uh, boiled it down to the enemy was difficult, not my stats were bad. I could just, I'm gonna let them fight. I'll fight the winner. I want that shield though. See, I'm helping you. You don't have to be mad at me. See, look. Well, too bad. I was helping you and you wanted to be bad. Let's get that steel plate. Oh, why is it weak? Why is it weak? Now it's definitely going to be weaker. I definitely want to wear that, though. It says plus two. It says plus two. I cannot wait in this location. Lydia, where are you? I need you. I want you to carry some of the stuff for me. I'm sick of carrying it at all. Are you with me yet, Lydia? Cannot wait, there's a nearby enemy. Like, come on. What's causing me to be heavy? That'd be seven pounds I could lose right there. Screw it. I don't care about crafting right now. I can always get more. I always like to have the Dynamo, so I like the Dynamo. It's four pounds. Buy my Dynamo. The Axe of White Run. I don't need the Axe of White Run. Oh, technically this does more. It just... I don't know. The game acts weird sometimes. Did I nail him? I nailed him. We could go inside that house. That house right here is always unique. It's just such a unique, interesting house. There's so much going on in it. I tried to save game or heal or whatever, but nothing. Nothing. Oh, now you show. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Oops. You know, look, that's upgrade for you. Get going then. It looks really nice. <laughs> All right. Sounds all crystally and weird in here. By Foos were all that thing, we could do a dragon fight in here. Oh, this reminds me of Aberration. This is literally Skyrim's Aberration. So I'm basically down in the Aberration zone, but on here, this is that's just crazy. It just makes me feel like I'm there. I like this area now. I really do. But we need to move forward, so... I remember it was it's so laggy on one of my PS3 accounts on here, because I collected every single guard helmet I've ever gotten from that war, and I just filled my house with it. Every loading screen was about an hour to two hours, and it was shoddy if it would just be infinite. And I was just, I, was, I just ran around down here as a werewolf. It's my main memories of this place. 
Don't be mad at me. Look, I, how can you tell that I'm not just a regular one of the slaves? How, how do you know? How do they know? How would they know? It's because they're liars. They're snakes. <sighs> one big old look at this place. Oh, it makes me want to play Ark Aberration so much. The technology and everything. That one just feels like... I just, I just love that map. I love that map way too much. My favorite map before Aberration came out, though, was Scorched Earth. That was my main one. But once Aberration came out, that was the one. It's weird how my favorite maps on there are the hardest ones. But they just look good. And that's really all that matters is style points for the most part. Difficulty doesn't matter if it's enjoyable. Isn't there like a steam helmet you can get? Unless you have a steam ability. Line and lure. Fishing? Do I have the fishing thing on this game? I'm a little bit confused about that. Just a wee bit. At least we made it here. We're going to get the Elder Scroll and everything is going to be great. This is really the one of the... This is one of the awkward hard parts of the story, I would say, is coming down here and dealing with this nonsense, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's see. Destruction, flames, frostbite. Now, I, I always have difficulties with this, so. I've never had this work out so good before. You know how many times I spent hours in here before trying to figure this out? Oh, I was like, wait, why does the Elder Scroll look so weird? And then I realized it was just down there. It was the shadow thing. On my way. Wow, that was that was way easier than I would have thought. Usually I have a nightmare. I, I swear, this is the easiest I've ever had on Skyrim before. I, I swear it is. I've always had so many difficulties in this game. Maybe it's because I'm the appropriate level for these and I'm not like out there just grinding my levels so but I don't have any good gear yet and they just curb stomp me all the time or just I don't know. I just I haven't ran into as many enemies either. I'm also not really taking my time with anything. Move it. Time to go and use the Elder Scroll, and we'll get Dragon Rend, and then I'm going to have to learn the Shout Call Dragon, or whatever it is for that little Fire Dragon guy. He's kind of cool. Okay. okay, Alduin, I got the Elder Scroll. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes? I think he's just going to tell me to use the book at, or the scroll at the time Feaser. No Thank you, Mr. Dragon. I already knew what you were going to say. The time vortex thing you with a view into the past like a window. Is that the dragon that flies me over to his lair? Courage. Creep Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. What's going on? Oh, he one-handed that two-handed axe like it was nothing. Wow. What an epic fight. So intense. They're totally not just blind attacks that don't really hit. 
Okay, this is the cool part. Now there's a scene. Take on! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the flooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. Baldun does not rise to our challenge. I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. All right, Greybeard. We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Oh, sorry, fear come. I see four dragons that are dead up here. There's one out in the distance there, this one, that one over there, and this one. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Well, want to have this little Aryan I never blade. agreed. But if you are right, no, we'll not need to deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. Is that him right there? I feel like I just noticed him immediately. It is. It one hundred percent is. That's some good voice acting if it if that's actually what they sounded like when they spoke. Word learn, mortal, dragon rend. Finite dragon rend. Temporary dragon rend. So it's made out of pure hate, and it just, it shoves the dragon into the ground. If I die today, it will not be in terror. Can't be beaten like a lesser dragon. They're fighting it like it's a lesser dragon. I don't understand. Oh! Oh! Did he just drop an F bomb? Is that an F bomb in a Bethesda game? You are banished. Work. Why was my? Did it. Yes, the world eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our soul. Hold on, I want. I've never seen my computer do that. I mean, where's my phone at? I want to make sure that's nothing weird. I've never seen it flash, flash a color like that. I'll just put my phone back on the charger in a second. Oh, these gloves are cool. Bound sword, no. Dragon Bane. Fast healing. Whoops. Okay, I, I gotta just see what that means real quick. I don't know if that's... I, it, if it's what I think it means, then I, I should calm some things down real quick. I would hate to miss. Okay. 
Come on, Alduin. Show me up. That's right. Fill the pain once again. Even though it's only been like a few seconds since he did that battle. It's only been like... In his... In his... The way he got teleported through time, it's only been like two days since what I just saw happen. Why do you gotta be looking at me, bro? You're gonna hurt me doing that. He's such a cool looking dragon. I would have loved to get the little statue that you could have got with the collectors of this game. But I do have the Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West elephant thing. It only held him down for so little of a time. I knew I wasn't going to hit him if doing that. No! No, I didn't mean to use it! Oh my goodness, at least I only tapped it so it's going to recharge fast. That's got to hit him. I got him. That is such a cool scene right there. With the meteors falling down and I hit him and forces him to land. Go on, just keep fighting him, Lydia. All you, Lydia. All you. Yeah, hurt him while he's down. You do that, actually. That'd be better. Hopefully that hit him and I didn't just miss doing that. Come on, I just need one more heal. And I think I'll use a bow on him. Dang it. It's easier to dodge a dragon's attacks and not be close to him. Shoot! There we go. Now land. Come on, Alduin. I don't have all day. You'd think you'd at least be able to run fast, but... I could pop one muffle and it would level me up. Okay, I think I can go in and start using my melee weapon on him. Because if he gets me low, I can just use my level up. Okay, uh, how do I charge my uh, thing here? Um, T to charge. Grand Soul Gym, I don't care. Oops. Oops, stop with that nonsense. No, 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 I keep pushing random buttons on accident. I want my healing, but I want my sword. You thought you were getting away. You really thought. That is the wrong healing ability. Hold on. We'll just do this because it'll make things easier. Come 
Come on, 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 come on. We got him. Let's go. You like that, Alduin? You like that? I'm pretty strong, aren't I? He looks so cool. I love the texture that he has where he looks like steel. He's definitely the scariest dragon in the game for looks. Too bad he's not really a problem. I like how Skyrim's supposed to be all about him, but you really just... You never really see him when you play the game. You see him like one or two times and then, it's, then he's gone when you take him out. And then there's just like this whole game that has nothing to do with him. <laughs> He's just like a small little background character. It feels like he's like a background character that no one really notices too much. Which is kind of funny. If a level 10 Dragonborn can fight him, level 9 to 10, then uh, he's, he's pretty bad. It's, and most people don't even do this quest immediately, so by the time you fight him, you're in full Daedric Dragonbone. Enchanted invincibility armor and just crush him in one hit. The voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Wasn't really a victory since he escaped, but. I don't really care about what else he has to say. So now we gotta do is we gotta go talk to the Jarl of Winterhold, and he's gonna say he wants the war to be at a standstill, peaceful place, and then we're gonna have to invite them all to the thing. I'm gonna go back and forth. The Jarl's gonna go to him, he's gonna go back, and then they're gonna go back. One's gonna reject the axe, one's gonna take the axe, one's gonna want an axe, one is gonna just ask too many questions. He's probably sleeping. I'm gonna. W <laughs> I swear, every time I even seen memes about it, where it's just like the Dragonborn showing up at 4 a.m. while he's asleep, saying, "I need to use your keep to trap a dragon." He goes, "Huh?" <laughs> Another warrior, here to look my <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's literally what's happening. I feel like this has to be his room, right? Yeah. I need help to trap a dragon in your palace. <laughs> Just getting out of bed to hear that. <laughs> and his palace is all made out of wood and it's supposed to be <laughs> trapping dragons. Like, it's so dumb. You know I wouldn't ask if it was important. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon. It's the only way to stop the dragon attacks. You gotta do it. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin's returned. I'm dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. Maybe so, but I plan to go down fighting. What about you? <laughs> It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late.
Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we're he, he, under the threat of it, enemy attack. You don't even like lose more than like two guards whenever we do it, because it lands in the back and like I guarantee the rest of the town wouldn't even notice it. What if you didn't have to worry about the enemy attacks? Blah blah blah. I know that uh, we're gonna have to step in, so Leave me to that. I'll ho talk about him hosting it. Maybe you can stop the dragon. My men will be ready when you are dragonborn. You have the troops to arrange first, eh? Now, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, I'm going to go back to bed. All right. Okay. Have your nap. I'll go talk to Anger. You need to leave. You need to leave. Why is he saying that to me? Calm down. Or I might do the roar. And fly him off the castle keep. You need a lean. You need a lean. Like, come on, calm down. Someone needs to punch that kid. Jarl needs to punch his kid. In the shoulder. Do, do, do. I gotta check something on my phone real quick, and I need to put my phone on the charger so I can watch cartoons later. Cartoons later. Yeah, that's what I said, some cartoons. Because that's how I like to relax. Yes, it is. I like to watch some cartoons. Although, I do feel like this would be a good point to end it as well, because we did quite a bit. We have done quite a bit here. And bringing a peace treaty, trapping the dragon, and going to the next area could be a whole level. Yes, that's what I want to do. This is a good point because I realized how much I've done. And it's been like, I, I think it's been a little bit longer than I need it to be. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll be continuing this here in a bit.